thank you very much for watching. Uh, last time I told you we'll be doing some bit of uh, plumbing, and uh, I'm just going to show you uh, something uh, about PPR pipes. So this is a PPR pipe, and perhaps uh, you wonder how they are joined together because you see we have a pipe and we have the fittings. So perhaps you could, you know, wonder how these fittings are joined together. So today I thought that it will be practical and ideal to come and demonstrate this how exactly it's being done. But before we do that, there is one more thing you need to understand about these uh, PPR pipes. Uh, we have sizes of fittings. First, we'll talk about the fittings. Uh, we have sizes of the fittings, and uh, these fittings, uh, the smallest is around 20 millimeter. 20 millimeter would look like this. This is the smallest pipe, perhaps the uh, smallest, but he has per market now and uh, uh, need. Uh, on the market and uh, and in the application, we, the smallest is 20 uh, millimeter, and then the biggest uh, it's supposed to be it is 63 millimeter. That's the biggest. Uh, then we have various types of uh, fittings. Uh, we have. We have adapters. This is an adapter to 30 millimeter to one inch. And then we have what we call sockets. This socket you use it to join uh, two pipes together. Then uh, we have a T junction. Of course, you know what a T junction is. Uh, if you want to have multiple channels from uh, maybe one line, so you can use this, then uh, we have reducer. If, for example, you have uh, a pipe of uh, 32 millimeter and you need to reduce it to, say, 20 millimeter. So you have one side is 32 and then the other side is uh, 20 millimeter. Uh, then also you have something like this because we, we join uh, these pipes uh, fittings together with GI. GI is this uh, metallic fittings, also uh, metallic pipes that you know, which used to be in existence, though they are still in existence, but these days be, people don't really use them much because they are costly and the maintenance is also high uh, if you compare with PPR pipes. PPR pipes need less effort and also they are handy. Anyone can do the job, they are not that hard and they, they are cost effective, time. So this is a GI, so perhaps you want to join a GI pipe and a, a PPR pipe, so you'll use this adapter. The adapter, one side is PPR, where you, you join the pipe here, and then this side you can screw. It's here, and then you go on and put your GI pipe, or perhaps you want to connect a cup, which is not plastic. Yeah. It's just a matter of manipulating, uh, uh, playing around with, with the fittings. Now we... We have these elements that uh, burn the pipes and then you join them. They also come in various sizes. Uh, as much as the number in the pipes exists, also the number in the burners exists. Now for example, this is a 40 millimeter, so if you have a 40, uh, uh, if you have a 40 millimeter pipe, you will definitely have to use this. Then we have the machine uh, itself. This machine uses electricity, so you have to plug it in. Uh, you have to screw. Uh, you will have to screw this onto the machine. So perhaps I can show you how to do that. Now, have a screw, and you put in like that. Then you get the other side. 
you link it here. And then you can simply tighten with the hand. And then that's it. So from there, it will heat up and then you will burn your pipes and then they join together. So I think that's enough for that. So let's uh, plug this into the power and see how we join these pipes together. Keep watching this video at the end and don't forget to subscribe if you feel that this has helped you. Yes, hope you enjoyed what we've just done right there. And if you did, please give us a thumbs up. Then you can also press the subscribe button right there. And then don't forget to press the bell icon such that we will notify you whenever we put a new video on YouTube. So, 
Thanks very much and be good.